if you look into this ravine here, uh, you can see uh, this is some wild guava. And you'll see next to it a lot of these dark leaf plants. And right here. These are weeds. Uh, and they're coffee. They're actually wild coffee growing at the edge of the coffee farm. Nobody planted these. And you can kind of see with the coffee tree when it's not being pruned like this wild one here how tall and stringy he is. And he has some beans, some coffee cherries on him but not a lot. You can see here and there's a ripe one. There's a ripe one right there. So people say it's hard to grow coffee. Well, that means the conditions aren't right. When the conditions are right, um, as you can see, they are around here. Uh, coffee grows and sprouts like weeds. Uh, you can see up here is another one. It's one of the most common weeds actually around here. Okay, now we're looking right into the ravine and it's all covered with shade because of these big trees. And you can see how well the wild coffee is doing. Look at all these small little coffee trees. And in there, most of these plants that you see are coffee. And even down here, these are small little coffee plants. This one's only about a foot high. These sprout from the seeds. Here's another one. This is all coffee here. You can see how well it does in the shade. Um, that's something to keep in mind if you're trying to grow coffee. It will grow in the sun and uh, here in Hawaii, of course, most of them are out in the sun, but that's because Hawaii is overcast most of the time, at least in this area. The coffee really does like shade and, and those dark green leaves do well in the, in the subdued light. Alright, here's some trees that are in the coffee orchard. You can see for comparison. You can see how many cherries these have. This tree actually had a lot more red cherries but it's been picked the pickers were here probably just two days ago. And you can see there's new red ones forming. They'll have to come back within maybe about two weeks. That's one issue with coffee is it doesn't ripen all at once. It'll ripen over a period of six months. So uh, your pickers obviously, they're gonna have to come back over and over again. If you look over here, this is rare but uh, this one actually has a flower on it. This is a coffee flower. Here we can see the life cycle of a coffee cherry. This one is green and immature. And then over here we see one starting to turn yellow. And then some of them are turning a little bit pink and then red. Like right here. And then right next to that, these are some dried up dead ones. We have a lot of dead ones, unfortunately, this year because we had way, way too much rain over the last month. We actually had three hurricanes near misses uh, come by nearby the islands over the last month or so. And that dredged up a lot of moisture and it's been raining cats and dogs for weeks. In fact, I'm going to have to cut this video short because it's starting to rain again. 
it's hard to it's hard to uh, overwater a coffee tree but in this case mother nature's done it so we're going to hope the rain dries out we're going to hope the weather dries out here in a little bit